Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in dark. Uh, basically, uh, I feel like since I started this video in sunglasses and a hoodie, uh, I figured I might as well end it in sunglasses and a hoodie. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> so, last time we talked about the state of Digimon. We brought up its core problems. We skipped a lot of stuff because of the headache, but we basically just kind of brought up a lot of its biggest problems. The most... What's the right word to say other than uh, dumb problems that should have been fixed by now? These are problems that, mind you, like I said, sh not only should have been fixed by now, but to make it worse, these are problems that, as you play the games more and more consistently, becomes very, 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 very obvious. To a point of where the fact that these problems have not been fixed after all these years is pretty friggin' dumb. Like, on a scale of one to moron, it's pretty close to moron. No, really. It's that bad. Now, I want to make this clear is, uh, do I like saying these negative things about Digimon. Hell no. Do I wish we lived in an idealistic dreamscape where Digimon games kick ass and are really good? Yes. Do I wish every day that these Digimon, that the Digimon, I'm going to say overlords. I could say dictators, but um, which is tempting because it's funny to say. But no, we're going to go with overlords here. Uh, do I wish that they would somehow, some way, snap the frack out of it and make the games better? Yes, I wish that. I wish they would get their crap together. Or at the, at the very least, try and fix their core problems that they've had for more than 25 years. Or was it 25 years now? Either way. It's something that should have already been done fixed, but it ain't been fixed. For no reason. Now, it sucks to say any of this, to be honest with you. I, 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 like I said, I wish this was an ideal dream world. I wish that often, that this was an ideal dream world where Digimon games were awesome. They aren't. The sucky part is, is there are also plenty of people who, out there who are going to be under this misguided... I, I, I'm I, using the word misguided. The more accurate term is they are so caked up in nostalgia beer goggles that for plenty of them, it's hard to separate themselves from something they love. Now, granted, that's never easy. All right, let's just cut the crap. It's never easy to separate yourself from something you love. The only reason I am able at all to do it is just because of stubbornness. I refuse to let myself get blinded by beer goggles. I refuse. Especially since I, I know what blindly loving a game will do to that game. It will send a game down the dark and wrong path. But trying to convince other people to have that same mindset, one, is a waste of everyone's time. Let's just be real here. Uh, there are people out there who are so caked up in those beer goggles but want to be, that trying to get them to be objective is not possible. Two, being objective is painful. All right, let's just cut the crap. Being objective is more often not painful. There are times where you love a game, but when you're being objective, even if you love that game, you have to rate and grade that game by not just your overall love and you know addiction to it, but you also have to compare it to other games. How do they stack up? Now, you don't necessarily, if your game is a shooter, you don't necessarily have to compare it to like Skyrim or some shit. You don't have to do that, per se. And that sounds horrible. Uh, like a horrible decision, so don't do that, okay? <laughs> it's just, more often than not, 
being objective towards stuff that you love is hard. And being objective towards Digimon, for me, is like soul crushing inside. But I also don't have the luxury of really uh, showcasing that part. Because even if I do showcase how much it crushes me inside to say that Digimon games, despite their potential, have sucked constantly for decades, doesn't bring a smile to my face. And the worst part is, is it doesn't really change anything. I could write freaking hymns, sonnets, ballads, entire operas. It wouldn't change anything for, for me to acknowledge just how much it sucks that Digimon games suck. And they do. Even some of the most recent games kind of suck. There, I said it. Digimon games, I don't care if we go back into the past or to the new guys. It doesn't matter. It's all the equal level of suckage. I'm sorry if you love this game, but honestly, from what I've seen of it, from what I've... There is job done. Honestly, Digimon World kind of sucks. Digimon World 2. I love that one. I've played it. I played it a ton. Guess what? It sucks. Digimon World 3. Played it a ton. Guess what? It sucks. World 4. World Data Squad. Played them both. Played a lot of them. Completed both of them, too. Sucked. No, really. They sucked. Yeah, Digimon Digital Card Battle. Cool idea. Played it a ton. Sucks. Digimon Rumble Arena. Played it a ton. Kind of sucks. Digimon Rumble Arena 2. It is a 6 out of 10 game, but it still kind of sucks. I said it. I meant it too. Rumble All Stars. That one was a freaking. I. If I had to. I think I don't know. I don't have a review for it, I don't think. But, anyways, low score no matter what, and probably at the highest, maybe a three or. F no, three. Probably more. Uh, yeah, sucks. <laughs> like, Digimon and Cyber Sleuth, Hacker's Memory, suck. Those are a 6 out of 10 game, and they do also, though, kind of suck. <sighs> Digimon Survive, kind of sucks. Now, them sucking doesn't affect their score, per se. It's the whole package that affects the score. So even though I've said they all suck, they still fall into their respective numbers because of either A, the good decisions made, or whatever have you within the game. That doesn't stop them from kind of sucking though, especially when you compare them to most high-end games. That's the thing is, Digimon games, they suck because they don't really advance any. They don't. They're stagnant as all hell. Are they making any real big radical improvements to storyboarding, to writing? No and no. Are they making improvements that are radical in their gameplay? Uh, not really. I mean, superficially at best, because their idea for the gameplay and the genre is instead of let's do better, let's do something radically different. Why do they do this? My assumption is stupid or a refusal to put in the effort to get better. I don't know which. I'm honestly kind of terrified to find out that answer. So yeah. How about character design? Eh. They're, they're acting like they're trying, but in reality, what they're pumping out really ain't that great either. Great. Um, are they mastering anything? Eh, no, not at all. They're attempting tons of crap all over the damn place, but they are mastering nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Squat. Honestly, I don't 
first seen Digimon games getting better anytime soon. There are plenty of videos you'll find out there that are talking about possibly a Digimon comeback uh, for the games. And I am of the mindset of, I love your optimism, but I doubt it. It sucks saying, and it sucks to admit it. But honestly, I don't buy for one second that Digimon games are making a comeback. Especially after Survive. I don't I don't for one second see that game as their comeback game. I see that as their we did the same shit we've been doing for decades. We just now did it with a visual novel. And that's it. I don't see anything else in this game other than we experimented, again, with a radically different genre, again. We think we deserve praise for this, making a substandard visual novel game, again. It's literally the perfect summary of it. All they did was the same thing they've always done, experimented blindly, Asked for recognition and approval for experimenting blindly to make a substandard game. Honestly, if it wasn't for some of the good decisions within this game, this game could have effortlessly and easily turned from a 6 to a 4. No, really. Honestly, it is a miracle, to be fair, what I had to accomplish here. All right? You gotta remember is that High didn't get the full four years. They didn't. Alright? They did not get the full four years. And what's more is they were kind of forced for their two year development time they had, they were forced to remake everything that was already made. You name an aspect, okay, that was showcased four years ago. Alright. That stuff had to be remade from the ground up, as if the game was never developed at all. So to be fair to Hyde, respect, you guys had two years, all right, and you kicked ass doing it. All right, nothing but respect for that. But here's the catch, though, and this isn't technically Hyde's fault, this part. This is more on Bandai than anyone else. Going in the future, Bandai, next time, don't saddle a small studio with, yeah, congratulations, you have to start from scratch, here's two years, good luck, peace. No, next time, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do a Survive 2, or you're gonna have Hyde do another Digimon game, give them the full time, okay? Don't give them a two two don't give them the short invert. No, give them the full four years. Because honestly, there's a very clear cut reason why this game is so minimalist. Alright? There's a very painful reason why the tactical end of this is worthless. The tactical gameplay, there's a reason why that part is worthless and basic and boring and easy. To the point where I, someone played it on the hardest setting at the time, which was hard, okay? There's a reason why I, for 90% of your game, left it on auto and still won every single friggin' fight. There's a reason. It's called your tactical and sucks. Honestly, if you're someone who has played even slightly of more tactical-focused games, to you, this is the most boring Worthless crap you've ever played. Therefore, it falls onto the visual novel end to try and save the day. It does not save the day. Now, not for the reason you might think, the visual novel end, alright, has some greatness to it. At the last couple hours. No, really. The last stretch, right when you've made your big karmic decision. That's it. Anything before that, alright, just kind of sucked. So how do you think this is a comeback? You have a pretty sucky 
visual novel that doesn't get good until like the last couple hours, right? With a dog crap level, okay, of worthless tactical gameplay that honestly sucked and wasn't memorable, wasn't fun, had zero challenge. Even a fight that supposedly was super hard. I was bored shitless, honestly. I don't know how people call this game the sign of a comeback. What it is is the sign of the same that we've always gotten and will probably always get. Yeah, that's basically this part two done and dusted. Basically, the state of Digimon is the same it's always been with no improvements, no advancement, nothing. Just the same crap as always. And that's not a sign of a comeback. That's a sign we're going to get the same shit we've always gotten. To be honest with you, I don't have any excitement for Digimon World 6. I just don't. They haven't improved. They haven't changed. They're still doing the same half-assed effort and blind experimentation. Guess what that means for Digimon World 6? It's probably going to be the same. Blind experimentation, half-assed effort. And they wonder why there are people like myself who don't buy Digimon games anymore. Why we just rent them or we just borrow buddies if we can. There's a reason we don't actually buy them anymore. It's because they haven't improved or gotten any better. They haven't made any real advancements that are worth an F. Not one. Honestly, does this make me happy saying this? Hell no. In fact, if anything, it frustrates me, it depresses me, it crushes my soul because I want to love Digimon games, alright? I want to love Digimon games. This was my crack growing up, alright? And yet I can't be bothered to buy it anymore with how much of a hardcore addict I was of it. That is depressing. I'm still here waiting for the proper hit of Digimon. But instead, I'm getting this half-assed, half-baked crap. That's what Digimon is. It's one after the other. A game that is either half-baked, crap, or just f so flawed that honestly, giving some of these games the scores I do give them seems a bit of a stretch and too kind. I don't enjoy any of that. All that does is make me feel sad inside. I want to love Digimon games, but I can't. I want to gush about them. I want to say, hey, Digimon's kicking ass. It's time to jump in, everybody. Let's do this. And I can't say any of that. What I can say is uh, don't buy them blindly. Rent them first or Borrow a buddy's copy. Just find a way to not pay them immediately and pay them once you've found out it's a good or worth an F game. Because they haven't been worth F games for a while now. And they're probably going to continue to be that way based off the current state of things. Which sucks. I got this video over and done with. I hope you guys managed to find some way to laugh at me. Maybe got some jokes out of my expression. I don't know. I'm definitely going to go. A lot of stuff to do today. So I'll see you all on Monday. See ya.